here talking things, people. School, please stay. We begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, school, please be seated. Our school year is coming to a conclusion, and so today we gather together as a school community to celebrate and give thanks for all the blessings we have received. For our year 13s, it is also the end of their time at Chanel College. It is a time for them both to remember and to look forward to new schools, new friends, and new beginnings. I now invite our students to come forth and present their symbols. Our candle represents Jesus, the light of the world. It reminds us that Jesus is always present in our world. As we prepare to leave Chanel College, we are reminded that we are asked to be the light of Christ for others, wherever we are. The Bible is the Word of God. When we listen to the Word of God and respond to its message each day, we learn to live as followers of Christ. We are grateful for the many gifts and blessings we have received throughout being a part of this school community. God, our Father, we know you are always with us. We know that each of us here in this school is connected to your love. May we continue to be guided by the light of Christ in everything we do. A reading from the Gospel of John. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and be a fruit, and that your fruit should abide me, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command you to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I would now like to invite my duty out for the report. We begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So please be seated. Our school year is coming to a conclusion, and so today we gather together as a school community to celebrate and give thanks for all the blessings we have received. For our year 13s, it is also the end of their time at Chanel College. It is a time for them both to remember and to look forward to new schools, new friends, and new beginnings. I now invite our students to come forth and present their symbols. Our candle represents Jesus, the light of the world. It reminds us that Jesus is always present in our world. As we prepare to leave Chanel College, we are reminded that we are asked to be the light of Christ for others, wherever we are. The Bible is the Word of God. When we listen to the Word of God and respond to its message each day, we learn to live as followers of Christ. We are grateful for the many gifts and blessings we have received throughout being a part of this school community. God, our Father, we know you are always with us. We know that each of us here in this school is connected to your love. 
May we continue to be guided by the light of Christ in everything we do. A reading from the Gospel of John. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide me, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command you to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I would now like to invite my duty out for the reflection. Thank you, Emily, and thank you for being with your team students and Father Jane. Love comes first from God. We know this because the Bible tells us that God is love. For us as human beings, first we have to decide to accept or reject our God's love. God also asks us to love and care about ourselves and who we become in life because God has made each one of us and therefore everyone in every life is precious. So we need to care about, to look after and respect the heart, the mind and our body that God has given us. We next need to show love to others and say what we do and what we do and what we say. In the Gospel today, Jesus said, I, have, I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. We have to decide to love. Love is a decision of the mind and a gift of the heart. Actions speak louder than words. The Gospel also reminds us that relationships die if people do not communicate with one another. In the Gospel today, Jesus said, You are my friends. Please know that each and every one of us have got friends. I want you to think about your friends for a moment. Imagine what it would be like if you never spoke to them, never spent time with them, never had experiences to share, never told them your secrets, never shared the funny things and, uh, that you've done together, or never spent time together, listening to their joy and pain, never laughed at their hard case jokes. What would that do to your relationship without communication? Without communication, relationships can't even start. Without spending time together, without communication, relationships die. Remember, Jesus says he is our friend. So how can he become a friend if we never spend personal time with him? What helps to develop our friendship, relationship with him? It starts with prayer. Making a conscious decision to keep in contact with him every day. The disciples asked Jesus, how should they pray? He answered with the Lord's Prayer. Every time we pray the Lord's Prayer, we know that in its simplicity and strength, it sums up everything we need to do in our daily lives to build a strong relationship with God. But for a personal relationship with God to grow strong, God needs our words too. We need to listen to him, and the gospel today reminds us that he listens to us. It might be a formal prayer, but it doesn't have to be. It can be as simple as, simple as inviting him into our lives and having a chat about what's been happening 
and asking them to be with us and to help us on our life's journey. Remember, Jesus is God. We are. God is there knocking on the door of our lives and the door of our hearts. But we have the power to keep the door closed or decide to open it and accept the love that he offers. Kia ora. God our Father, bless all the students of this school community. We give thanks for the joy they bring. May they continue to grow in understanding of your love for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. hear us. God our Father, thank you for all the teachers who work to make our school a safe, happy and caring place in which to learn. We give thanks in this Mass for their guidance and support. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear us. God our Father, you give us our parents to love and care for us. Through them we come to know how much you love and care for us. Bless them always and keep them close in your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear us. God our Father, we ask you to bless Father Bruce, who visited our school during the year. We give thanks for the many ways in which he helped all of us to come to know you. Bless him and his priestly work in the parish. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear us. God our Father, we ask you to bless our graduates as they leave our school. May we always value the gifts of friendship, care, and compassion. And may we always be sensitive to the needs of others. Lord, hear us. In the school, we now pray the Our Father. because they have three minutes to get themselves organised. Uh, and then they will proceed with their assembly uh, for us. So if we can please wait patiently for three minutes. God. Oh, oh, so I would like to call to the stage, Mr. Sonia Bailey. <laughs> I'm always picking up after the 
the seniors here. <laughs> so now I'd like to invite <clears throat> the head of the department forward to take a seat somewhere on his couches. So I'd like to introduce Mrs. Sean O'Flynn, head of English. <laughs>
<laughs> the last one I'd like to invite, Mr. Jacob Kugliari. until 6 a.m. to finish an assignment, Jasmine. <laughs> the W Award for having the biggest green line in their phone. Oh, Emily Murray. <laughs> the W Award for the shortest in year 13, Lucas McLeish. <laughs> the Dundee Award for having the best variety of hairstyles, Nivenka. Yeah. The Dundee Award for the loudest breather, <laughs> my doppelganger, Lucas. <laughs> The Dundee Award for being Joe Biden's number one fan. <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> the Dundee Award for watching the most Netflix at lunch. Nikita. <laughs> The 
the Dundee Award for the worst Rocket League player. Sure. <laughs> The Dundee Award for dedicating their life to maths. Nikki. <laughs> and finally, the Dundee Award for drive to school but lives around the corner and gets her own something to school. And <laughs> Please stand up and come to this corner. <laughs> Mr. Thomas Campbell, Mr. Nigel Bailey, Mr. Giuseppe Cugliari, Jake Scott. <laughs> Jake Scott. <laughs> the w Award for the School Pop Player goes to Thomas Campbell. <laughs> The Dundee Award for the most random cops. Got <coughs> 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 a Mr. Nigel Bailey. <laughs> London, yeah, London. <laughs> the Dundee Award for whose chips are these? <laughs> <laughs> Karen McAnulty. <laughs> Could the following staff please come up and stand this corner here? Fire Jimmy, Mr. Chris Senior, Mr. Hannah Muller, and, and, and Mrs. Maria O'Flynn. So the first Dundee, <laughs> the Dundee Award for having the softest voice in school, but is it presented to Fire Debbie. Let's go, boss. The Dundee Award for most likely to be the most competitive in junior dodgeball. <laughs> The Dundee Award for dressing the snazziest goes to Maria Flynn. <laughs> Sean's got chips to go for you for that. <laughs> Could the following people please stand up forward? Uh, Mrs. Andrea Parsons, Mrs. Jane Burke, Mrs. Rebecca Burrows, and Mr. Mike Hoskins. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the W Award for having the loudest keys in the school. <laughs> this is Andrew Parsons.
what a special, special afternoon it's been. Um, and thank you, Year 13, 2021 graduates. Laughter is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And when we're able to laugh at our, about ourselves, it shows that we don't take ourselves too seriously because we all have our personal habits and we can all remember times when we did things that we would rather forget or some things that were crazy happened and fun. But at the same time as we laugh, we're sad to see you go. Each and every one of you is a unique and unre unrepeatable act. Our time with you has been precious and we will miss you. Thank you for letting us be part of your lives. It is hard to let you go, but the time has come and you're all ready to fly to new horizons. Just like the Chanel song, we will not forget you. Thank you, Father Maria. <laughs> and who you want to be as your greatest asset. Um, it is now time for your lives to pursue your dreams and make vision, that vision happen. I'm going to ask if we can all stand up, thank you, and put our hand up to pray over our wonderful year for you today. Dear Lord, we ask that you bless our Year 13 students. Watch over them always. Guide them and protect them. May all the angels and saints smile upon these students, our students, and our entire school community, now and always. St. Bridget, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter Chanel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go well and know that you are loved by your Chanel family. Well done, Shirley Williams.